Hello guys and welcome back to another tutorial. Today we're going to continue to talk about our plugin GIF Multivendor Marketplace and in particular we're going to learn about the different permissions the admin can set for vendors. But before we start, please make sure you hit the like button below this video, subscribe to our channel and also click on the bell so you don't miss any of our videos. Now let's start! Ok guys, with GIF Multivendor, the admins will have the possibility to manage different permissions to allow or not vendors to perform certain actions. So today what we're going to do is review in detail which permissions are available. For this, we go to the Vendors tab and we click on Vendors Permissions. Inside this tab, we will have a total of 9 options that can be managed. So let's take a look at them one by one. First, as admins, we can enable vendors to use an advanced editor for their store's description. And if enabled, we can additionally enable the media button in the text editor for vendors to manage it. Also, it is possible to limit the number of products our vendors can publish. And of course, if we enable it, we can then set the maximum number of products on this field. Then we have an important option, and this is the possibility for admins to decide what will happen after vendors create a product either allow them to publish directly without the admin's review or leave the product pending until the admin approves it. And this option can actually be overridden later for each vendor. Now, besides this option, it is also possible to force the skip admin's review option for all vendors, which, same as before, can be overridden inside each vendor's profile. Next, similar to these two options, after vendors create their products, it is possible to decide what happens whenever they edit them. So, once again, admins can allow vendors to publish the changes without reviewing them or leave the product pending until it is approved by the admin. Moving on, the admin can choose which actions vendors will be allowed to manage from their specific dashboards regarding their store and their orders. As you can see, we can find over here some options that the admin can either select or not in order to allow vendors to manage them. For example, in the case of managing their stores, vendors can create coupons, edit the store's log, assign tags, set products as featured, and manage reviews. Now, regarding their orders, it is possible to allow vendors to manage orders, manage refunds, send emails to customers, edit custom fields, see the customer info in the order details, see the payment info and see the billing and shipping info. And with the last two options, the admin can enable this one to synchronize all the changes made to the parent orders with the vendor's individual orders and additionally enable this one to update the parent order status when editing the sub-order status. As you can see, the admin will have the flexibility to decide which permissions to grant to vendors globally and also to override specific settings individually for certain vendors if required. Well guys, I hope you enjoyed the video and make sure that you stay tuned as we will continue to share more videos on our plugin GIF Multivendor Marketplace. For the moment, that was it, but I will see you next time. Bye bye!